All right, went to the uh, grocery store and got some uh, regular no rust pads. They're uh, perfect for smoothing clay. In fact, this is what the uh, foundry uses to uh, smooth waxes using lighter fluid, of course. If you use anything but well, lighter fluid, it just, uh, well, you can use turpentine if you want to. I don't like the smell of turpentine. Besides that, I feel like a lot of use of that stuff can harm your body. So I don't use it. What I do is I just cut a small rectangle and then I just start uh, applying if I can find my lighter fluid. There it is. And I just start applying lighter fluid to the thing and onto the uh, clay itself. Now, I'm doing this now only because I'm waiting for some wax to warm up and I want to get this done before I put anything else onto his body because once I do this, uh, well, I just want to get it done. And what it does, it just sort of melts the clay a little bit and I'm not sure what the properties of the uh, lighter fluid is that does that, but it does work. And so it smooths out those things that need to be smoothed out. Now on the face, I'll use a, a oil painter's brush to uh, smooth it off. Just saw a hole I need to fill. It's gonna have to wait until this stuff dries now. I'm afraid. wax here and I'm going to straighten it out first off. Just, you know, push the uh, ruler up next to it. Get it as straight as I can. And then trim off one side of it. all the way. So, to uh, cut fringe onto one side of it. All right, I got the uh, thing cut and ready to go. I hope it just wraps around all the way. It would be great. Oh, 
I'm going to take the uh, fringe and just separate it a little bit so that it looks like fringe and loose fringe at that. I start from the bottom and work up. What I've done is I've uh, made some ermine, strings of ermine. What they would do is they'd take a leather thong, skin the uh, ermine, uh, then they'd cut a strip and they'd sew it around that leather thong with a black tuft of fur at the bottom that looked like uh, the tail of the uh, animal. and. Uh, I noticed that on uh, Touch This Guy's war bonnet, uh, he had ermine on it. And so that's what I'm putting on here. And I think I'm going to put it right over his back. Like that. I'm going to put three on each side. Actually, these were shorter than this, so I'm going to cut them down just a little bit. Yep, that's good.
I'm sorry, I completely forgot to turn on the cameras. I've just been so intense in trying to get this thing done that I just completely forgot about the cameras. Anyway, I've just uh, added wax fringe to the ends of these, uh, this uh, quiver. And what I'm doing now is just painting the uh, wax to look like clay. Again, so that people aren't confused by the different colors. And besides that, it shows up better when you actually have it looking like clay. I'm going to put some screws into these just to hold them in place because it, like that, just wants to come apart. So, anyway. Whew. All right, I'm going to go get uh, the person to help me put this into my van. Uh, they may have to sit here for a few minutes while I work on this, but it's time for me to go pick her up. Let's see, what time is it? Yep, it's time to go get Julie and heck, come over and help me. Julie's uh, helped me several times sculpting uh, monumental pieces, and so she uh, said that she'd help me put this in the uh, van. I think I can put it in standing up, which would be a real nice thing to be able to do. And by the time I get back, this ought to be dry enough that I can finish it up. All right. All right, I got the uh, lady here that's going to help me load my van with this thing. I just got a couple things to do, and I'm going to, uh, we're going to get ready to load the van up. So I'm just putting some beadwork on the edges, or the ends of these uh, pieces here. I'm only going to use one camera to do this, so. I thought, why aren't you I'm using... I tell you, a woman comes to my studio and instantly she wants to clean it up and move things around. And well, why aren't you using that other camera over there? Because it's too close. <coughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's uh, my sculpture as it is right now. It's uh, as far as it's going to get before I take it to the foundry. I am going to take it to the gallery tomorrow in Jackson Hole. And uh, let me turn it slowly so you can see. I've got the bow on it. I decided not to put the uh, shield on it because it was just distracting. And uh, who knows, uh, Adam may want me to put a, a shield on it yet, so I may have to. But anyway, this is the way it looks right now. And. Uh, I'll have to look and see what day I started this thing. Those of you who have asked for a DVD of the creation of this piece, I will work on it next week. Get it ready for sale. I hope I can do it all on one DVD. I have a ghost turning my stand. Ignore the stick. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's it. Creation of Touch the Clouds. <sighs> Tired. I just need to take a couple of pictures.